Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 29 of Wonderful Pretty Cares. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. All I know is that y'all popped up on this episode, so apparently something big happened today, even though from the preview from last week. It's <laughs> brand new day, circle of life, oh! Wake up! And then we're gonna go to, oh, oh never mind. <laughs> yes. It took twenty eight episodes. It really took 28 episodes. Y'all are joking. Oh my God. Okay, let's see her. I want to see her. You know what I heard. Yeah. All I hear. Speak more, baby. I know. See your trip. I love it. <laughs> okay. So here, here's a funny thing. You follow me on Twitter. You probably saw the tweets from last night to now of who her savior is. There, there's a picture of Nico. There's a picture of a girl from Honey Me Are Crying, and there is a picture of my best girl from the Fate series. Nico is voiced by Best Girl from the Fate series. And I really, really, really wanted her to be in this show, but not as a mascot character. I wanted her as a cure. And, and I'm, 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 I'm upset about it. Like, really, really bad. To, like, I cried. I was just like, oh. My heart. But I'm still happy, though, because there is potential... For her to still be a pretty cure as well. I mean, they could just say, like, hey, Nico could be, like, a final cure of the show. Possibly. But I don't think that's going to happen because of the other leaks that came out, like, what, 
two, three weeks ago with the final toy or like their final transformation item and stuff. So I don't think that's going to happen, but at least she's in the show. That's all I care about. Another technically pretty kid. That's okay. We're adding her to the mix. God dang it. She's a Genshin pretty care, and I love that. <laughs> that means I also got to save her in Genshin again. Great. That's not Nico Sama, that's right. <laughs> that is right for fake! <laughs> yeah, loads of times. Yeah, mm -hmm. not this time, Dad. But, you know, yeah, definitely can't ignore an animal. Always got to help. No, I know. Nope, she's got another one. <laughs> Best mascot. Give me all the merch. She literally probably took the long way just so she could make...
the bad guy. I do love the way he looks. I think for these villains this season, like, they look really, really good. Not naming her Zakuro. Okay, Tokyo Mimi, let's go. She looks really pretty. Oh my god. but something stronger. Does this also mean from like episode 29 to the end of the show, like she's always going to be with him? Niko-sama, oh my god! I'm already liking these two, like, already. Not only for style points. Ooh. I mean, I would say gorilla, but okay.
your friends. Oh, but that's going to be the opposite for them, babe. Until you're all extinct. That's just the perfect story for them. Oh my god! Girl, this is the most, like, almost fist-to-fit hand-to-hand combat episode we've seen in a hot minute since Uni. <laughs> not Uni. Yuki popped up. <laughs> oh, that's not going to work. Music is different now, baby. Nah, too easy. Well, time back for hand to hand combat. No. Why does she sound like she's from Jujutsu Kaisen? I need to go back and look at her voice actress real quick.
You see the way Komogi looked up at her. Oh my god. Cody! That's Cody! That's Cody! Stop crying. Aw, oh, damn it. <laughs> Just too much. Oh my god. <sighs> Story wise, Cannibalize is the best fucking episode. I mean, yes, 20 not 28 weeks of this show not having the bad guys in it, but you know, slowly but surely we learned about them through, you know, the situation of the Story of the Wolves and such. And I didn't think. For a moment, there was, a okay, no, there was one moment where I didn't think about it, and then there was a moment, I think a week later or two weeks later, I kind of thought, I was like, yeah, I feel like the wolves are definitely going to be the bad guys of this story, because the fact is, they have all this pent-up anger against them, not only humans, but Nico Garden as well, so... It made the most sense for them to be the the bad guys of this, se of this season. I do love it. I love the fact that it's not, um, is a little box thing coming next week? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, wonderful castle, that's what it is. Um, <laughs> I just lost my train of thought. <laughs> um. It, it's okay no because normally nine out of ten it's always a human nine out of ten maybe ten out of ten is typically a human and such because or it's like a sea creature or something tropical rouge pretty cure in a nutshell or it is a emotion aka healing good <laughs> it makes me wonder what the whole next season is gonna be for a villain wise but, I mean, no, this was a really interesting return. I can see why everybody last night freaked the hell out over this episode for everybody who is now officially on this cast. I mean, once again, you're now your biggest seiyuu on here is Nico Sama seiyuu. That's it. That's it. Because if you don't know who she is, like I said, that's a fate girly. That is the best girl in fate. Deadass. Sorry. Sorry, Sakura. Sorry, freaking uh, Archer, aka Saber. I am sorry. Rin is the best girl, and she's in this. And I'm just like, I, I still, I can't believe it because it, it, she's, she's on my list. On my list of people being in this show. And they made it come true, but just not in a way that I thought they were going to do. There is still a potential for her, like we've said. But I feel like they're going to just do it as Satoru and his bunny. Which, if it is, I'm fine like that. They still have another chance to bring her back. But no, did I? So I want all the merch of her because she's just so freaking adorable. But, um, let me check. Because I know if I go back on it, uh, shut up. Um, back to Pretty Cure News. Going to stuff from last night. If my phone would just load up quicker with it. Oh my god. This stupid thing. Okay, hold on. Let's see. You're still not loading. Why aren't you loading? Ugh. <laughs> Let's see, hold on. Um, it, uh, Let's go down. Okay. Zakuro. My Nakahara. 
because I know that voice from somewhere. And I, I looked her up last night, but I didn't. Okay, okay, okay. Now looking back, I know, I know who she. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because the first thing I saw was what's her face from freaking fairy tale. Um, let me see. She's got to be in something else I watched. Uh, oh, she was in my Okay. Um, yeah, Higurashi, when they cry. She, oh, she was in Clinton. Ah! Um, she was in Nanoha. I don't remember that character. Um, the heck is that sound? <gasps> she was in the room! <laughs> Who is? Oh, God. No, she is. She was in Monica today. Oh, my God. Um, <gasps> shut up! <laughs> oh my god, okay. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Alright, now I have another one that she's in. Dude, that's nuts! Oh my god. Uh... She's been in so many things. I've wa What? She was Kira Oasis. <laughs> well, you know what? That that's hilarious to have her go from a Kira to a villain role. Honestly, I'm not mad at it. I love it. I think that's really cute. Cause once again, w the one big thing we've also learned with this series, especially with like um, Iroha Seiyu, aka Anya from Spy Family. Is one minute you could be a mascot for a movie, and the next thing you know, you're a freaking pretty cure. So the sky is the limit. You can be whoever the freak you want to be at the end of the day. Um, but the fact is that she was the highest paying say you probably are the the big big well potentially because I would say what that was five girls, so six big big say you's because all six of them were how are still hella big and still in like bigger things now, practically all well. That whole cast of Tropical Fruit is pretty cute. Is literally in either Genshin or um, what? What the Star Rail? Honkai Star Rail. <laughs> the fact that I forgot because I don't play Honkai anymore, barely. Because I, <laughs> I play too many Gacha games. God dang it! But no, this takes it into a different level with the fact that once again the wolves are the villains of this show. And such I do like that it does also kind of give feels to like the storybook vibes from like um smile but not really I mean because essentially one of the villains on there was a wolf for you know bit bag wolf duh um but I am hoping that we do get an episode they gave the backstory like POV in this moment but I kind of still want to see more there is ha there has to be like more context that we're essentially not seeing up until later on because now we only have like uh, X amount of episodes left before we're done with this season. But yeah, 28 weeks and we finally have the main villains of the show because normally like with Pretty Here, we see the main villains about like episode one. So um, I will say, yes, that is different. I think that was a, was it a good idea? Um. Okay, okay, no, 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 I'll say it's, it's a maybe, it's in between, but I'll compare it to this. If you have not seen this situation or just, like, the talk about moment of the show Suicide Squad Isekai and the situation and possibly, you know, in talks between Wood Studio, Warner Brothers Animation, or really Warner Brothers Studios Japan and such, and how I talked about it in like the last two episodes of the show where it's like I feel like they <laughs> they were like yeah we're gonna do something different we're gonna tell a story in like 10 episodes and then we're gonna like screw everybody over when they watch this where we were all highly anticipating this to it being one of the probably one of the worst series that I have ever seen as of right now not to say that this is not the worst season we've seen worse seasons for Pretty Care regardless but this is the moment where I would have loved to have been a fly on a wall and to see like, okay, the idea of having 20 something episodes, 
no main villain, but still leading the villains up, bringing them up, talking about the wolves, like, quote-unquote, at the time, potentially being villains, and now they are villains and stuff. That was a really good idea. I do hope that they eventually do something like that in another series for Pretty Girl in a Nutshell. Because, I mean, they kind of, you kind of seen that with Hirogato Sky, but not really. It was iffy. But the villains were always there. Like, one minute we went from X amount of episodes with one character, then X amount with another one. Then we went to the big bad and such. Um, and then one minute we all thought... Oh, uh, I can't speak. We all thought one person was a big bad, a.k.a. the girl. And no, it was the other one. And I was just like, oh, okay, that's different. All right. But no, 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 no. This was a really good episode to, like return to I think for a lot of people because I'm guessing a lot of people probably was like if this show does not like rub up I think a lot of people were probably going to drop this I think probably as well um not really me because I, I like to see the beginning and end of Pretty Girl in a Nutshell um I think the score is going to change on this though probably I don't know I mean I, I I'll wait till January to talk about that <laughs> No, yeah, no, it was a good episode. Yes. One more thing. Always, yeah. Have Nico Sama in every single episode. I, I need my friend in every. And I mean every. Every single episode. Okay? Make me happy. Toei Animation. You always do at the end of the day. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode 29 of Wonderful Pretty Carrie. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all either Saturday night or Sunday afternoon, whatever. <laughs> Who knows? For episode 30. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.